So behind me is the temple of Athena Nike. Athena is the goddess of Athens. That's what Athens is named after. Um, and they thought that Athena worshiping her would bring them victory. And so this was built about 425 BC. And um, you can see the columns are the Ionic style, which has like the scrolls at the top. Hey guys, this is obviously the most famous thing on the Acropolis. It stands 490 feet above sea level at the highest point of the Acropolis. This is the Parthenon. It is the largest, largest Doric temple in Greece. It is 228 feet long and 101 feet wide. All right, behind me is the remains of a church that was built um, at the entrance of Hadrian's library. It was built in the 12th century AD. It's really beautiful. Um, you can see that the tops of the columns are in the Corinthian style. Okay, so this is the top of a Corinthian style column. Obviously, it was huge, um, and there were actually 12 of these that lined um, all the way up to the, the Odeon, which is a theater. Like the in the park. Okay, so you could also come to the Agora to worship. Um, so behind me is the Temple of Hephaestus, which is this was started to be built around 450 BC, and it was dedicated to the god Hephaestus. Um, it's actually the best preserved temple in all of Athens, and you can see I'll show you the footage, but um, you can see it has a really good view of the rest of the Agora. of Olympian Zeus, which was a temple in honor of Zeus. Um, it had 104 Corinthian columns, now only 16 of those remain. Construction began in the 6th century BC and it wasn't finished until over 600 years later under Emperor Hadrian. Um, and then it, when barbaric tribes invaded, it was kind of ransacked and used as a quarry and now this is all that's left. It would have been really big really big how big really big okay so this is all that's left this is the other side of the temple but if you look you can see where the where the foundation was and where the temple would have been all the way around to the back so really big <laughs> 